Capital Center is very special. It's a special place for this community and it holds a very special place for me because this is really the place where my zeal for public service started. I want to bring you back to a time 20 years ago. It's incredible to me, but it was 20 years ago when this place was a wreck. It was a dump. There was water in the basement. Uh, folks didn't know whether it was going to be torn down. They said nothing could be done with it. And a small band of hardy visionaries decided that what was said to be impossible wasn't going to be impossible. That somehow, some way, we could bring the community together to transform and change this place and this community into a place where not only culture, but Main Street and business could thrive. And I was very honored to be asked to lead the effort. Uh, and I did as chairman of the board for many years and then again as a, as a board member. But the key to what happened at the Capitol Center for the Arts was all about community. It's something we understand so well in New Hampshire. It's that there is no government that's going to fix everything. No bureaucrats are going to tell us what the magic answer is to fix things when things need fixing. It's the community that comes together. People who come together, who take a look at something that some folks Pundits and naysayers may say, can't be done. And the community says, yes, it can. Yes, we can. We will get it done. And that's what this jobs tour about is about, because that's where we are now. We have an economy that was built on a foundation of sand, a house of cards, Wall Street economy, built on a foundation of sand that has washed away. And our challenge, with so many people hurting, out of work, afraid to lose their homes, sitting around their kitchen tables, wondering whether they can heat or eat, wondering how they're going to pay for their medicine, wondering if they're going to send their kids to a safe school, wondering where the future is and where the jobs are. Our job is to help transform this economy, to revitalize the middle class in New Hampshire and around the country, so that with clean energy and health care reform and education, we can revitalize and transform our economy into a working economy for the 21st century that brings middle class jobs, that brings business, and we're going to do it in a way that builds on the best of what we've got in New Hampshire. We're very independent here. We are very innovative here. We are entrepreneurial. We are self-reliant. Those are qualities that New Hampshire can teach the rest of the United States. And we're going to bring back jobs to New Hampshire that are made in New Hampshire, that stay in New Hampshire, that rebuild working families and our middle class for the 21st century. That's what this jobs tour is about. We have resourceful small businesses. Uh, Mike St. Germain, who introduced me from Concord Camera, is one of them. When Mike and I talked a few months ago, just a few short months ago, about what he faced and the challenges he faced for his employees, he could no longer afford health insurance. He had to stop providing health insurance or lay off employees. He didn't know what he could do, and he begged me when I visited him to pass comprehensive health insurance reform in this country to help small business. I've been out saying health care reform is a small jobs bill, a jobs bill for small business. It is. Mike St. Germain knows it. Health care reform was passed to help small businesses in New Hampshire, and I'm glad it was. It's small business and the ingenuity of the American people that are going to put America back to work, not any bureaucrats in Washington. I want to highlight a few of the proposals that I am making in my small business jobs plan. A plan that is fully paid for, it'll cost about $60 billion, and it's paid for with cuts. Cuts to wasteful government contracting, cuts for wasteful subsidies to oil companies, finding waste and fraud and abuse and rooting it out. It's fully paid for and it's going to build jobs for small businesses and bring back the middle class in New Hampshire and around the country.
First of all, my plan would give a tax credit to any small business that creates a single job. The only way to get middle class families back to work is to give small businesses the tools they need to hire and grow their companies. These tax credits for small businesses will strengthen our economy from the ground up and build lasting good paying jobs for New Hampshire. Second, my plan eliminates tax breaks for corporations and big business that take New Hampshire jobs and ship them overseas. We've seen too much of that for too long. We need to keep our jobs at home, reinvigorate our manufacturing base, and make Made in America mean something again for the 21st century. It's time Made in America means something again. Third, my plan will transform the way we power our economy. We have to shift from a fossil fuel economy to a new economy that's powered on alternative and renewable energies conceived and created in America. My plan ends subsidies to big oil companies and we use that money to invest in clean energy jobs right here in New Hampshire. It's time to weatherize every home, make every home efficient, build our biomass, wood pellets and wood chips and start getting it right. We are starting that transformation right here in New Hampshire. That'll what that's what's going to power our economy for the 21st century. Finally, my plan will make sure that rather spending our tax dollars on things like wasteful earmarks, that Washington focuses its energy and resources on creating jobs for the middle class. I've proposed eliminating earmarks altogether because I believe that if middle class families across our country are tightening their belts, well it's time for the bureaucrats and Washington to do the exact same thing. We need to help our small business create jobs, not funnel billions into wasteful pork and bloated government projects. It's time to stop wasteful spending and invest it in America again. So I'll be spending this week crossing the state. I'm going to go to cities and towns and villages. I'm going to do a wide variety of forums and I'm going to be talking about jobs, talking about my plan and talking about how we create jobs right here in New Hampshire. We've got to create them, we've got to keep them, we've got to grow them. We've got to strengthen our industries, we've got to innovate our energies, we've got to come together and invest in our future. This is not a partisan Democrat or Republican issue. This is a New Hampshire issue. This is an American issue. The Capitol Center for the Arts is a testament to what happens when people come together from all over the political spectrum, left, right, and center. If the ideas are good, we need to use them. It is time that we innovate, that we bring people together to solve the problems that face this nation and move the Granite State forward together. Please read my plan. It's got at least 14 important things in it. Read it, study it, come back and ask me questions. Because the people here, the people in New Hampshire, the people who are going to rebuild the middle class for the 21st century are the citizens of our state and citizens around the country, across the political spectrum, who understand that it's we the people, not the bureaucrats in Washington, who have the answers. We have the initiative. We have the drive. We have the independent thinking to stand up for doing the right thing. It's time to move past the policies of the past, which so many want to bring us back to. We cannot go forward with economic policies that brought us into the mess we're in. We've got to invest in America and move this country forward. This campaign is going to be about rebuilding the middle class in order to rebuild our country. It'll be about creating and keeping jobs right here in New Hampshire and preserving the American dream for our children and our grandchildren. I want to leave you with this. Abraham Lincoln said, the dogmas of the quiet past are inadequate to the stormy present. The occasion is piled high with difficulty and we must rise with the occasion. As our case is new, so we must think anew and act anew. It's time that we started thinking and acting anew. We're facing the challenge of change, but we face it with the audacity of hope. We can rise to this occasion, and I will not only win this campaign for the United States Senate, but together we will all win in the fight to rebuild America's middle class. Thank you very much.